Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our first Sunday at Lent Eucharist service. We say good morning. Well, good morning and a really warm welcome to our service of Holy Communion at St Peter's Church this morning on this first Sunday of Lent. I hope you're well. Um, thank you for joining us online, whether you're watching now live or, or, or later in the day. It's good to you've been able to join us uh, online. Welcome in the name of Christ. God's grace, mercy and peace be with you. And also with you. And we come to a time of confession. Compassion and forgiveness belong to the Lord our God. Though we have rebelled against him, let us then renounce our willfulness and ask his mercy by confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Saying together, Lord, Lord God, God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and we repent. 
Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world to save sinners, bring you his pardon and peace, now and forever. Amen. And the collect for the first Sunday of Lent. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ fasted forty days in the wilderness and was tempted, as we are, yet without sin, give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your Spirit. And as you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. John's going to come and read to us from Hebrews. <clears throat> the first reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12 to 16. Indeed, the word of the Lord is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to his confession, to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Thank you, choir, for that. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. A reading from Matthew chapter 4, beginning at the first verse. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. And Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendour. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. But Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him. And suddenly, angels came and waited on him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Good morning. Good morning. All of us are looking forward to getting away having some kind of break and holiday when we are allowed to do so. I have always uh, enjoyed looking at historic buildings, an enthusiasm not always shared with my children when they were growing up. Oh no, not another old building. <laughs> when my son Justin was about 10, we discovered that he uh, liked writing something in the visitor's book. And uh, on, on more than one occasion, um, I noticed that uh, when uh, we were visiting a, a cathedral, he wrote something and I, I looked to see what he'd written. Big and nice. <laughs> oh dear, I thought, big and nice? Well, the word nice has different meanings. It means, of course, pleasant, but also it can mean that which is precise. Now, the Bible has lots of words which have different meanings. It's part of the richness and fullness of the Bible and of our Christian faith. And we see different meanings in the story we have just heard. Not only different meanings in the words, but there is a lot of picture language, a sort of daydreaming that is going on in Jesus' mind. Jesus goes into the desert, the wilderness, to prepare for his public ministry. We're told that Jesus was tempted, and that is one of the meanings of the Greek word parazo. The word temptation uh, is a bit of a joke in our culture. Let me tempt you to another piece of cake. I once followed a van um, all the way into Northampton, and on the back of it, uh, in large letters, it said, House of Fraser, temptation at every level. <laughs> so, what were the temptations that Jesus faced? Laziness, greed. 
No, it was much more subtle, a misuse of power. Turning the stones into bread would satisfy not only Jesus' hunger, and he was hungry, but those of hundreds of people. And flying down from the temple would impress many and show people how important Jesus was. Did Jesus really fly off to the temple and did the devil appear as a sort of goat or something? <laughs> no, this is picture language, a sort of daydreaming that, well, we can all do from time to time. Uh, I wonder what it'd be like if, um, hmm, yes. Jesus rejects the misuse of power. He quotes the Bible as he pronounces that people must turn to him using their free will and not out of just sheer amazement at the miracles that he is about to perform. Now, we too face all kinds of temptations to do the wrong thing, perhaps to get angry, and there's a lot of anger around in this pandemic. Too much boozing, all kinds of things. We need to be self-critical, aware, and have a degree of humility. I sometimes look at my car and think, good gracious, that needs a good wash. And the same can be true of all of us. Perhaps asking those close to us, am I getting grumpy? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, all right. <laughs> now, our first Bible reading from Hebrews reminds us that Jesus was tempted and tested as we are. He knows what it is to be human. We need God's help and forgiveness in our lives. And that brings us to the second meaning of the word parazzo. It means not only to tempt, but also to test. All through the Bible, people go into the wilderness to be tested and strengthened. Now, this is a good thing. We all need to go for a test before we can drive a car on our own. Metals need to be tested to make sure they are strong enough. The church has seen the period of Lent, that is the 40 days before Easter, as a time for testing and strengthening for the Christian life. Now, for some people, Lent's an opportunity for giving up something, chocolate or drink or something, and that's good. But it's also good to do something that particularly strengthens us for our Christian life, perhaps spending some extra time in prayer, or reading a Christian book, or this year joining in with us in a Zoom discussion group. This Lent we're looking at Stephen Cottrell's book, The Nail. He is the Archbishop of York, and the book looks at the cross through the eyes of the people around Jesus. We shall be meeting on Tuesday afternoons and also uh, on Wednesday evenings. Do join us if you can. Further details from Reverend Matt at the end of this service. May we, in these challenging times, be strengthened by God and have a good Lent. Thank you, Michael. We're now going to say uh, an affirmation of faith together. Um, so let us affirm with one another our faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, 
even death on a cross. Therefore God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every voice proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. What fabulous words they are from Philippians. Um, uh, Ginny's going to come and uh, lead our intercessions for us this morning. The response to the words, with our God, is all things are possible. With our God, all, all things, things are possible. possible. Lord God, we come with all our muddled priorities and conflicting agendas to be made whole in the body of Christ, to renounce evil so that we may be equipped to welcome the kingdom of peace. With our God, all, All things, things are, are possible. possible. Lord God, we come with the world's clamour ringing in our ears, with comfort zones beckoning us, but the pain of injustice refusing to be shut out. We come for the world's healing and for an end to all lying and deceit. With our God, all, All things, things are, are possible. possible. Lord God, we come with the demands of home, family, work and expectations fighting in our minds for space and attention. We come on behalf of those who are overcome with busyness, too exhausted to pray, that our daily lives may be washed in your peace, ordered in holiness and lit up with your joy. With our God, all, all things, things are, are possible. possible. Lord God, we come with needs, sorrows and pain, the suffering of our brothers and sisters all over the world who are aching physically, emotionally and spiritually. We come to ask for your comfort and healing love. With our God, all, all things, things are possible. Lord God, we come to realign our lives in the context of your eternity, to commend to your love our own loved ones who have died, passing on to the life which has no ending. With our God, all, all things, things are possible. possible. Lord God, we come to you with thankfulness for the gift of life, for the call to holiness, Give us the grace to respond to your calling. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Ginny. With our God, all things are indeed possible, and uh, that is a great reminder for us this morning. Let's come to a time of peace. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. If you're at home with others, do share the sign of peace. Peace with you. The Lord is here. His, His Spirit, Spirit is, is with us. us. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give thanks and praise. praise. 
It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For in these forty days you led us into the desert for repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people again. Through fasting, prayer, and acts of service, you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your eternal love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with saints and angels forever, praising you and saying together, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, Send your Holy Spirit that this broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you, he broke it, and gave you thanks, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when supper had ended, he took the cup of wine, and again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes again in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. And I will be taking the communion on behalf of our whole church family, the body and blood of Christ. Prayer after communion. Almighty God, you have given your Holy Son to be for us 
both a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace that we may always may thankfully receive these his innocent gifts, and also daily endeavour to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, uh, uh, two notices. First of all, as Michael said, um, we're going to be studying uh, the nail together as a discussion group on Zoom. And we're asking people if they wish to join in, uh, please do sign up for either our Tuesday afternoon sessions or our Wednesday evening sessions. Um, and if you want more questions, do um, let me know. But please, can you let me know today? Uh, today's probably the last day to sign up um, because it'll be really helpful to, to know exactly the numbers uh, so I can get you a book um, tomorrow. Um, if you would like to sign up, then please do so today. Uh, it'd be great to, to join in together studying that book. And also just to say that um, our new rector, Beverly, will be licensed on Zoom uh, on the 18th of April. Um, so that's the official date she'll be joining us as our, our new rector. So a couple uh, more months until then, but um, we look forward to welcoming her. Do be praying for her as she has this uh, period of uh, rest and um, until she joins us. Do be praying for her uh, at, before she begins her ministry with us. And the blessing. Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ.